Uh, good morning again. Uh, today uh, I'm going to talk uh, to you about our experience uh, in uh, the classroom uh, teaching Watson, uh, Watson Analytics. So uh, in Ryerson we have a couple of programs in uh, big data and data science and uh, one of the programs is, uh, is a certificate program uh, 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 which we had been running since 2014 and in uh, uh, one of the courses we've been teaching uh, Watson and Watson Analytics. So uh, I would like to thank uh, Stephen Peralgut raise your hand, <laughs> so uh, who has been instrumental in um, you know, getting Watson into our classroom uh, uh, two years ago. And uh, we also have a master's program in data science and uh, analytics. And um, so today I will talk about uh, the, uh, uh, the certificate course that uh, we had been teaching. So uh, this is the certificate program um, in uh, our continuing continue education, Chang School, and it's a, a six course program uh, designed uh, to be completed in uh, 12 months uh, if it is done full time. And uh, so um, the um, courses are, um, you know, we teach uh, data management, uh, like a database and uh, how to use a database. Uh, we teach uh, a, um, a tools course where we teach uh, uh, you know big data tools like um, uh, Hadoop, uh, Pig, Hive, those um, you know uh, technologies. Uh, we have uh, two sets of uh, statistics courses where we teach our programming and uh, doing statistics and advanced statistics like introduction to machine learning using R. And uh, uh, the the very first course is uh, the introduction course where we teach. Um, where we use uh, Watson uh, in the classroom. And uh, so uh, there are mainly three teaching departments. Uh, the, the program is housed in uh, the industrial engineering department and uh, both computer science and uh, department of mathematics uh, are the teach teaching partners uh, in uh, the program. So uh, that's the course, uh, the intro course, where we uh, teach uh, Watson. So as I said, uh, we started this program in fall 2014. So it's been running in all semesters, including uh, the spring and summer uh, terms. Uh, so this is the ninth term uh, this fall uh, that um, you know, we are running this program. So in the first uh, um, years up until this year, we had uh, on the average 50 students enrolled each term uh, in this class. And this year we, uh, we have uh, three sections of 50 students, 150 students uh, in, uh, in the, in the uh, class. And uh, so far, um, you know, um, uh, you know, 500 uh, students uh, are, uh, more than 500 students are exposed to uh, IBM Watson products. And uh, the objectives of the course is uh, to give an overview of how uh, uh, data analytics uh, uh, is, uh, is done, the, you know, the process, uh, the role of the data scientist, uh, and how we conduct an analytics project. And uh, so we focus mainly on the uh, life cycle and um, so uh, how, how we can deliver uh, the you know, core uh, deliverables to a, a project partner. And uh, in this course, we also would like to build team, uh, team building skills and problem solving skills. So that's why the course every uh, two weeks uh, you know, talks about uh, concepts like uh, you know, databases, tools, analytics, uh, etc., and also has a project component where we teach the team building skills and um, you know, problem solving skills. So uh, the uh, Watson Analytics uh, is used in uh, the labs uh, to introduce uh, the, uh, the tools to uh, analyze data. And uh, basically, we teach step by step how uh, you know uh, students interact with the system, and then you know we uh, we show them the visualization capabilities of the product uh, in uh, the last uh, lab. And um, we also uh, have been uh, uh, teaching IBM Watson. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, platform for natural language processing. 
And uh, so it's basically uh, how to use uh, it as basic text processing and cognitive computing platform. And then, you know, students are, um, you know, uh, prepared to uh, do their project work uh, using this uh, uh, platform. Um, so the course project uh, is, uh, is a team project of um, four to five students uh, in each team. And um, they uh, cover, over the years, they have been covering different topics. So some examples are on food and nutrition, for example, uh, some uh, uh, topics on Canadian uh, education, uh, tourism attractions, uh, crisis management, etc. And, you know, under each topic, students uh, choose uh, some specific topics such as, um, you know, food banks in Canada, uh, nutrition uh, in beverages, uh, solid uh, food, uh, etc. And uh, each group uh, at the end uh, prepares a document uh, based on uh, the, um, you know, uh, uh, some instructions. So last year in, uh, uh, in, in an education, uh, uh, IBM uh, Watson Education Conference, uh, we presented a paper where we explained, you know, step by step how uh, the project was conducted. And actually, students train uh, uh, the system uh, by providing some question-answer pairs. And uh, then they create a corpus, and they test and calibrate their model, and then they prepare a project report and uh, make a presentation at the end. So, um, uh, there are, you know, uh, uh, in this uh, paper, we uh, talked about uh, uh, more than 10 projects. And uh, so each uh, uh, group prepares, um, you know, 40 plus uh, documents. And uh, just to give you an example, in some cases, the, um, uh, the performance of uh, the, uh, the model, uh, the performance of the system uh, that, uh, you know, they created at the end uh, was quite high. So they were able to, you know, predict what they, uh, they, what they were looking for at uh, very high accuracy. So this also shows the power of uh, Watson uh, in, you know, day-to-day, -day, um, you know, uh, problems uh, in, um, you know, making decisions or aiding decisions. And uh, so this, is, uh, this has been our experience uh, in the classroom, uh, which is uh, uh, quite you know, uh, interesting and rewarding. And I must say that uh, you know, the uh, students in this program come from different kinds of profiles. Uh, they are um, you know, uh, mostly working class people, and uh, the, uh, the program is designed to run in the evening, so they have, most of them have day jobs. And uh, so uh, after the you know, uh, uh, first few courses, they either get a promotion in their um, you know, uh, respective uh, jobs, or the ones uh, who are not uh, employed find jobs uh, uh, easily, because uh, it's a very hands-on program, and uh, especially the Watson component has been very, very uh, attractive in the marketplace. And um, our collaboration with Watson is not just in the classroom. Uh, we also have a research project uh, with the Watson team. Now Martin, raise your hand, <laughs> uh, is our uh, project collaborator. So um, uh, with Martin and uh, my uh, students, uh, we are working on uh, creating a context-aware algorithm for uh, uh, the Watson Analytics product. So just like you know, in the keynote, uh, it's mentioned that how can we learn uh, from the uh, parallel interactions or concurrent interactions of the users to be, uh, to be able to understand the context uh, in which you know, they are interacting with the system. So we are looking at questions like how can we detect uh, the context from the user's interactions? How can we model uh, partial interactions uh, and uh, combine with completed interactions uh, uh, of the users in the system? So, uh, to be able to improve the um, uh, feature selection because you know, we have lots of features if we can filter by context and also uh, make the recommendations made by Watson Analytics uh, much more relevant uh, to its users. That's it. Thank you.